In Creole Parametric and Windchill, you can import to your workspace objects that were previously exported. Here I am in a Windchill connected Creole Parametric session. I'm looking at my workspace. Here it contains 17 objects that I had exported using tools, export from workspace. Offline, I've made changes to those different objects. Now I want to bring them back into my workspace so eventually I can check them into the common space so that others have access to them. To import them, I will use the import to workspace command. And here I have the import to workspace dialog box. We have the target workspace. Add dependencies is set to all. You could change that to required or none. Now we need to specify which files that we want to bring in. So I will click on the add icon, which looks like a plus sign. And here we have the different objects in the folder. I am just going to use the shift key in order to select all of them and then click OK. And so here we have the list of the various different objects that I had selected. Now I'm going to click on the next button to get to the specify options form. And so we can see the status in here that a few of these are new objects, objects that were created offline. And you can see for the other different objects, we can see a last modified date inside of here. So everything looks good. Let's click on the finish button. And it tells us that 21 objects were imported, zero failed. Now when I take a look at the objects in my workspace, I can see that some of these were modified locally. And I can scroll down and see the new objects as well. Now that I want to share them with the others in my organization, I can select the objects that were previously in the common space using the shift key. And then I can check those different objects out using the checkout object icon. And now the objects are checked out. Let me look for the top level object. I can choose to check that one in from the icon in its action buttons. And we can see the various different objects. I can take a look at the locations and modify that if they're not going to the right places where the other objects are going. Let me just select those four and then use the folder icon and select the engineering folder within the product. Everything else looks good. I can click on the next button to check the different options. And yes, I want to auto associate to parts. I am not worried about this option here to undo the checkout of unmodified objects and everything else looks good. Let's click the finish button. And now we can see in the message area that the check-in has succeeded and the version has incremented for the modified objects. Also for the new objects, since I had auto associate turned on, we can see that we have a gray gear or WT part or enterprise part for one of the CAD objects that was new, same for this other subassembly over here. So in that way, I was able to export from my windchill workspace to a local folder, make modifications when I was not connected to windchill, and then import the objects back into my windchill workspace, and then check in all the modified objects and the new objects to the windchill common space. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshow.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.